Hello aspirants welcome to AQBIS YouTube channel this session is a part of our quick revision series prelims atulya in today's session we'll talk about fundamental rights so today's focus will be on fundamental rights so far we have covered four sessions of indian polity uh, in three sessions we discussed about terms related to indian polity and in the last session we discussed about the constitution so in the last session we covered why we need the constitution the philosophy behind the constitution so that session is very important you can give it a watch now in today's session we'll study about fundamental rights so we have already studied what rights are what is the importance of rights but i'm going to tell you one more time see rights are merely claims and when these claims are socially recognized when these rights have social sanction then these are known as rights okay now before we talk about fundamental rights i'm going to tell you about bill of rights what is a bill of rights see in the constitution there is a special place for rights okay so in a democracy it is the duty of the constitution to provide rights to citizens okay because citizens need certain rights for their welfare for their overall development so these rights are recognized by the uh, government these rights are respected by the government and it is the duty of the constitution to provide these rights so since these rights have special place that that's why this is known as bill of rights okay this is known as bill of rights now let's talk about the fundamental rights before we study about these rights let's try to know why we have the word fundamental see the meaning here of the fundamental is i mean this word suggest that these rights are specially protected by the constitution okay so constitution provides special protection to certain rights that's why those rights are fundamental rights moreover these rights are fundamental in the sense that these rights are very very important for the overall development of your personality for your moral development for your spiritual development for your materialistic development so these rights are highly highly significant okay so first these are specially protected second these rights are important for your comprehensive development of the personality now as i said one more thing that since they are specially protected so that's why these rights cannot be violated by the government either even government any organ of the government cannot violate these rights okay now under fundamental rights we have so many rights they there used to be seven rights earlier but now there are six fundamental rights okay so the right to property it has been removed from the list of fundamental rights so it is no longer a fundamental right it is merely a legal right now and it was removed by 44th amendment act 1978 just remember this this fact is very important it can be asked in prelims that it was removed by 44th amendment act 1978 so just remember right to property is no longer a fundamental right it is a legal right now okay now let's talk about right to equality so just understand this thing we have the right to equality and this right puts an end to all kinds of discriminations it means in our society discriminations are not allowed okay so you have article 14 which talks about equality before law equality before law means all people are same in the eyes of law okay so be it rich 
or poor everybody is same in the eyes of law this is this is what equality before law talks about so article 14 then we have article 15 this article 15 it prohibits the discrimination on the basis of race religion caste sex place of birth okay so it puts an end on the discrimination on the basis of on the grounds of race religion caste sex place of birth okay this is article 15 then we have article 16 under right to equality article 16 provides for equality of opportunity in the matters of public employment so this is article 16 it means people they should be selected on the basis of their merits on the basis of their qualification there must be equality of opportunity in the matters of employment so this is article 16 then we have article 17 article 17 means abolition of untouchability okay so the practice of untouchability is prohibited by this fundamental right article 17 okay so any disability arising out of untouchability is prohibited under this right right to abolition of untouchability now the article 18 article 18 talks about the abolition of titles so special titles are not allowed the state cannot grant special titles to anybody so this is article 18 so it also establishes the equality in the society now we'll talk about the right to freedom see right to freedom is extremely essential for the democracy okay so under right to freedom we have article 19 under article 19 we have all these rights freedom of speech and expression we have freedom to assemble peacefully and without arms then we have freedom to form associations we have freedom to move freely throughout the territory of india we have freedom to reside and settle in any part of india we have the freedom to practice any profession okay so these are six freedoms under this article 19 okay so this article 19 is very very important just remember that we have six freedoms and what are those freedoms freedom of speech freedom uh, to assemble anywhere peacefully then we have freedom to form associations we have freedom to move free- freely throughout the territory of india we have the freedom to reside and settle in any part of india and we have the freedom to practice any profession now all these rights fundamental rights are not absolute they are restricted it means restrictions can be imposed on fundamental rights why in the interest of our country okay for the security of our country for the integrity of our country for the public order these restrictions can be imposed on these fundamental rights as well so just remember these rights are not absolute okay restrictions can be imposed by state for for the interest of our country okay now let's talk about protection in respect of conviction for offenses okay this is article 20 now this article 20 says that you cannot be forced to become a witness against yourself okay this is the first thing you need to understand second thing that you cannot be punished again for the same offense this is the second thing and third you cannot be convicted for an offense under an act which was not in the force when you committed the offense let me repeat one more time that you cannot be convicted for an offense under a particular act which wasn't in force which wasn't operative when you committed 
the crime okay so there are three things under article 20 first thing you cannot be forced to become a witness against yourself okay second thing you cannot be punished again for the same offense this is known as double jeopardy so double jeopardy is not allowed under article 20 and third thing you cannot be this is known as ex post facto law it means that you cannot be convicted under an act which wasn't operative at a time when you committed the crime so these three things are very very important under article 20 now let's talk about another right under the right to freedom so you have article 21 that no one can be deprived of his or her life or personal liberty except according to the procedure established by law okay so you have the right to life under article 21 right to life okay so there are some more rights under article 21 i have provided the list uh you can go through this list in order to have idea about these rights now let's talk about the article 22 so this article 22 gives you the protection against detention so detention is not allowed under this article 22 so you have punitive detention you have preventive detention okay so you should be told the grounds of your arrest you have the cons- you have the right to consult uh, an advocate so you have all these rights under article 22 i have made a comprehensive video on the detention on preventive detention on article 22 as well i'll attach the link of that video in the description box so you can watch that video in order to understand about article 22 so that's all for today's session let me summarize this entire lecture for you that we discussed about article 14 okay which is equality before law that everybody is equal in the eyes of law be it rich or poor article 15 this article gives you the protection against discrimination so discriminations are not allowed under article 15 then we spoke about article 16 so this provides the protection against discrimination in the matters of public employment so under article 16 you have the equality of opportunity in matters of public employment then we spoke about article 17 17 talks about abolition of untouchability so untouchability is prohibited in our society under article 17 then we spoke about article 18 article 18 provides for abolition of titles no special treatment no special titles these titles are prohibited so a state cannot grant you any titles okay then we discussed about article 20 okay under article 20 you have certain rights which we discussed those three rights okay then we discussed about article 21 right to life and this article 22 i have made as i said i have made a comprehensive video you can watch that video so that's all for today's session and if you have liked our initiative then you can subscribe our youtube channel and if you have any suggestions you can mention in the comment section and you can follow our social media platforms for daily current affairs content So that's all for today's session. I'll see you in the next session soon. Bye bye.